Hey, welcome to Float Town Fishing. Finally, the Carolina skiff is out in the water, and we're gonna look at a couple of things today, uh, including uh, does the five gallon bucket fit in the compartment, and is there any water in the back coming in from the scupper holes? Stay tuned. All right, first we're gonna look at the, just a real quick overview of the front bow of the boat, and then we'll look at the compartment and the five gallon bucket recess. In the compartment you have ample storage and you have, the come forward a little bit more and look down there, and you have the recess for the five gallon bucket. As you can see, it fits in the uh, recess and, the back up, And it closes. So yes, it does fit. It does fit as long as you have the right bucket. And you can get the right five gallon buckets from any of your big box stores, your Walmarts, your Lowe's, your Home Depot and whatnot. The one you want to uh, avoid is those industrial type five gallon buckets that are straight. They, they have to have a taper on them. As long as they do, you're fine. We've all seen those video, that video on YouTube, uh, the review of the 21 LS, where uh, the, guy, the guys, uh, boat is taking on water in the back through the uh, drainage scuppers. Uh, I think his is a 2020, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and this is a 2022. So let's look at the 2022 model to see if Carolina Skiff fixed the problem. Okay, so my wife and I got here uh, to, to the lake at about 6.30, 7 o'clock in, in the morning, and it's now close to noon. Um, we've been on the water for several hours now, and we've moved from several different spots because there are absolutely no fish in this lake. But anyway, uh, we've run the boat, we've run, run the high RPMs, run the low RPMs, trying to break in the motor and all that. But, uh, as I said, we've been on here for several hours already. Uh, plenty of time for enough water to, to uh, accumulate in the back. As you can see, after several hours of fishing and moving around on the lake, the water is not that choppy, so the boat isn't moving around too much. As you can see, there is absolutely no water in the back. Not, not on the port side, and not on the starboard side. None. So, I don't know if it was that boat in particular, or uh, Carolina Skiff fixed the uh, drainage issues, but I have no uh, water backing into the uh, boat at all. Carolina Skiff also provides some, some plugs so you, you, you can put into the uh, drain ports right there, and on the other side as well. It was never a deal breaker for me if there was water coming in because all I have to do is plug it up. It's, I mean, this is just too good of a boat to uh, worry about something like that. But it seems to me like that's not going to be an issue at all.